With the WBO being vacant, is that something that you have your eyes on? WBO is not vacant. It's just got one by Patrick Texera. Oh, sure. Um, he's a good fighter, but uh, Golden Boy is going to babysit that title. That's just what they do. They did it with uh, Jaime Munguia. I was hoping that uh, Carlos Alamez won because I think uh, top rank is probably would have been a, a little bit willing to play ball with him because he's a, he's a good fighter and uh, he doesn't really have no opponents over there for him. So I think uh, they would have been willing to, to, to put him out there, see if he could unify, get all the belts, which would have gave me opportunity to get all four. But he didn't win, so that's neither here nor there. So I can't even. I'm not going to be. Able to, I'm not going to get a chance to fight for the WBO belt. I already know it's not happening. It seems as though um, the PBC, especially PBC on Fox, is really pushing for um, unifications. Mm -hmm. And right now, I'm going to. It's a two-part question. So the first part of the question is, has there been, I understand you can't look past Rosario, but is the plan to unify and to get that other WBC, well, that WBC title and possibly fight the winner of um, Harrison Charlo before the summer? The plan is to beat Jason Rosario and then whatever else happens next, I haven't even thought that far. I haven't even thought, bad. I haven't even thought about January 19th yet because this is a real opponent and I can't look past uh I can't look past, you know, how hungry he is. You know, he got family he want to feed. He want to change his life. And all it takes is 36 minutes or less. So I gotta, I gotta respect that. So I don't even. I try to duck all questions. That's about talk about the winner of this and the who that and unification is. I gotta win on January 18th. Okay, here's the other part of the question. Um, a PBC on Fox executive did a podcast mm -hmm. a few weeks ago about uh, PBC titles, mm -hmm. and he was saying that 154 is one of the divisions that that PBC is very deep in mm -hmm. and that they can really have a um, champion. So my question to you is how do you feel about being a PBC champion and where do you feel or where do you stand in regards to tr the traditional sanctioning bodies? I think, okay, so I got a, I got a two-part answer for your two-part question. <laughs> okay, so I think, me personally, I think it's too many world titles that's not actually world titles. You got the WBA Super, the WBA, WBA Regular, WBA Intern, and you got the WBC Franchise, you got WBC Normal Title, and you got WBC Silver. Only only person, only only section by that doesn't have more than one world title is the IBF. But now, on the outside looking in, it maybe looks like the section by is just being so greedy and they wanna like get money from everybody, but I think that boxing is so divided and promoters won't work with each other. I think it call, it makes the, the the sanctioned bodies have to have the WBA regular, WBA super, because if you know what I'm saying, because the promoters are not working with each other. I think if that's the that's the that's the flip side to that. I think if everybody work with each other, and it could possibly be one belt per 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 division, per sanctioned body. You know what I'm saying? Instead of having three titles and three titles in one in one weight class, you know, I think if if the reason why they're doing is because Promoters won't work with each other, you know what I mean? But that's over the top of my head. That's just my personal opinion without saying it the law, you know what I mean? But I'm not, uh, I'm not, um, I don't know what to think about the PBC championship, you know what I mean? That's, I don't know what to think about that. Hey, one more fully eccentric question. And it is like, Bill the Worm came to Philadelphia from Rochester. Mm -hmm. But for the rest of his career, whether he would fight in the Philadelphia, he was always introduced as a Philadelphia. Nobody said, hey, he's from Rochester. Right. Guys from who were born in Philly and become fighters, if they move somewhere else, but they're always still introduced as Philadelphia. Our rule of thumb was that if you moved to Philadelphia and were fighting out of Philadelphia, you were Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. If you were born in Philadelphia and moved somewhere else, you're still Philadelphia. Right, right. Does it still mean something wherever you go, whether it's in Maryland or, or wherever? to be introduced as a Philadelphia fighter because Philadelphia fighters and Mexican fighters, they almost have a cachet mm -hmm. just to be identified yep. as a not group. Yep. Means something. Does I, it still mean something? It definitely means something. It definitely, well, to me at least. Because I understand that, the, like I said before, I understand the Richard boxing tradition that we have in this in this city since, since forever. You know what I mean? Um, so for me, carrying on that tradition, being a great champion, fighting the best available competition, you know what I mean? Um, bringing fights to Philadelphia, and being a good role model for the for the younger kids that's looking up to me, that's in the, in the boxing community, that's looking to be exactly where I'm at right now, maybe even further, you know what I mean? So uh, the tradition means everything to me. What's your response to the fans taking stands? Going back to your fans with the fourth question.
fans come there. Um, your response to fans who say things like oh, social media, I know you probably don't focus too much on that, on that more important things mm -hmm. but yeah, kind of the take now is, okay, the motors won't work with each other, and that's what the answer that's always fed, mm -hmm. fight world, to fight fans. Mm -hmm. They're now starting to say it's on the fighter to the no, I, I may have. fights um, in order to increase their legacy. So what's your response to yeah, those type of questions? I actually like, think it's only it's only one fighter that's demanding those kind of uh, that's saying that fighters should demand that, and that's the fighter that's not getting the fights, which is uh, Terrence Crawford. I just read an article about him he saying when the fighters is the is the most work for the fighters and this that and third. Well, he can say that because he's not getting the fights that he wants. You know what I mean? And I think he do deserve the fights with the, with the, with the best welterweights in the world, but for whatever reason, you know what I mean, it seems to not be happening. Is that kind of what you were saying? You were hoping that Teixeira didn't win the fight? Because somebody like Jorge Leonardo demanded the fight with Lomachenko. Yeah, but that, because their promoters was willing to work with each other. You know what I mean? Let me, let me, let, let me say this, though, from a business aspect. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but if I got five of the best welterweights in the world, right, and I'm not, I don't really like you that much. You know what I mean? And we're not really, we're not, we're not, we're not on, on good terms. And we definitely have a business relationship. You know what I'm saying? Why am I going, you got a great fighter, probably the best fighter in the world. Why am I going to let you beat my guys when I, I can like, have my guys fight each other and keep all my money in the house? Why, why, would, I, why would I let you do that? It don't make sense. Let me, let, let me ask you this. But let, but let, it's not over yet, though. The round robbery's not over. Let me ask you this. You think the shoe's on the opposite foot. You think if Aram had... The, the, all the all the studs over there. Did you think they would you would, you would you would let out? I don't think so either. Yeah, should we sold out? It's not yeah. it's, it's business. It's, 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 it's the skull duggery of business. You gotta respect the business. You know what I mean? So I don't know if it's right or wrong, but I just I just understand it. It's, it's not up to me to say whether it's right or wrong, but I understand it. I think Bob Barron, who I'm a fan of, I love Top Rank. I think they're amazing promotional companies, but they gotta find them some fighters. You know what I mean? They gotta find somebody to fight. Me and Machine is not the guy. You know what I'm saying? They gotta find somebody to fight. Yeah, I thought Ray Robinson won the fight. And I was here in Philly. I was actually at that fight. I thought Ray Robinson won the fight. But uh, nevertheless, I'm a big fan of Chance Crawford. I'm a big fan of Top Rank. I think they do an amazing job with their fighters. But that's the business.